John, Paul, George, Ringo, and Billy? Allow me to explain. Coming up next. Hey everybody, it's Rick. Welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. This is the show where we talk about movies, music, and TV. And today, I got music on TV. That's right, we're doing the Beatles Get Back. Let's get into it. It's a documentary series directed by Peter Jackson, and it came out this year in 2021. It was directed and produced by Jackson and it covers the making of the Beatles' 1970 album, Let It Be, which had the working title of Get Back. It draws from material originally captured from Michael Lindsay Hogg's 1970 documentary of that album. A lot of people don't know that it was originally conceived as a feature film, and there's a lot of footage, something that you probably couldn't pare down into two, two and a half hours. As a matter of fact, it's a three-part docuseries from Disney, and it turned out to be about two and a half plus hours per part. So that's nearly eight hours of material. If you're binge watching this like I did, you spent a lot of time watching this over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I gotta say though, I really liked what I saw. It gave me a lot of insight to not only the Beatles, but just inner workings of how albums are created and what artists have to go through in order to get those albums done, especially the way they want them done. And no, this is not the early mop head clean cut Beatles. I didn't really care for that time period for them. This is the post Sergeant Peppers very musically gifted, extremely creative band, but also at a point where things could be easily fractured. Now again, this was on Disney Plus, so it's uh, presented by the Walt Disney Studios. And I'm believing because of that, there may have been a lot of things that were cut out because Disney's that family themed company so I'm willing to bet you there's a lot more edgier material that was left on the cutting room floor. Now, although it did show some tensions between the band, it did show a lot more of the upbeat side of the production of the album. The production of the Beatles Get Back employed film restoration techniques developed for Jackson's They Shall Not Grow Old. There are over 60 hours of film footage and and over 150 hours of audio stemming from the original Let It Be project. Peter Jackson spent around four years editing the series and it was created with cooperation from Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and the widows of John Lennon and George Harrison, as well as music supervisor Giles Martin, son of George Martin and a regular producer of the Beatles project since 2006. The final cut covers 21 days in the studio with the Beatles as they rehearse for a forthcoming album, concert, and film project, and it climaxes with the full 42-minute rooftop concert. Now, if you haven't seen the rooftop concert, it is available on YouTube. I say definitely check it out, whether or not you're a Beatles fan. If you are just a music fan in general, you definitely want to watch the rooftop concert. And if you are into music and the process of making music, you definitely want to check out the docu-series. It's well worth it. If you're familiar with any of the Beatles' work, most of these songs can be found on either the Let It Be album or the album Abbey Road. Again, I was more into the later stuff, and I would say definitely check it out as well. Obviously, for copyright reasons, I'm not able to play any of the Beatles music. Wish I could, but for their music, there's tons of places you can find it. 
including right here on YouTube. Okay, so at the time, it was John, Paul, George, and Ringo, but for these sessions, they also added musician Billy Preston. And if you've watched this, you heard it yourself from John Lennon, they dubbed Billy Preston the fifth Beatle. So again, if you want access to that rooftop concert, you can find it on YouTube. And if you want to watch the three-part docuseries, Get Back, make sure that you find it on Disney+. Plus. It's available now. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see or hear in the future. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. I'll see you soon.